All right, so we've got Node up and running. Uh, we've checked out the REPL a little bit. Hopefully you had some time to play around with it. Uh, so now we're gonna get kind of get started moving forward and build our first file with Node.js. Uh, so for this one is gonna require a little bit more hopping around in the terminal. Um, for those that aren't very used to that, honestly, if there's a lot of feedback that people want it, I would happily do a series on hopping around in the terminal. Uh, so let me know in the comments about that. Um, otherwise, we're just going to do some really basic commands for right now. So I'm going to go over into my terminal. Uh, I've left it just as it was from the last video where we're in the node REPL. I'm going to hit Control D to exit out of the node REPL. So now I'm back in my terminal shell. And basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change directory, CD. Uh, and here we get a little bit tricky if you're on Windows. Um, the commands are going to be different. So again, let me know if you're stuck on a certain operating system, I'll make a video. But I'm just going to CD into my desktop for now. And I'm going to make a new directory uh, and call it node. And then I'm going to CD into that directory. So now I'm in desktop node. And you can put this anywhere, I just didn't want to stick a you know file that we're playing around with somewhere important. So I'm just going to move it on the desktop and probably delete it later. Um, okay, cool. So. From here, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a text editor. Uh, I'm using Atom. Um, if you're not familiar with a lot of text editors, um, I guess the popular ones are like here. Let me I'll go with Sublime Text, uh, Atom.io, um, Visual Studio, Visual. Visual Studio Code. Uh, so we've got the popular ones are kind of SublimeText.com. Um, We've got Atom.io, uh, and we've got Visual Studio Code. Um, these are probably the three that I switch between. There's a ton of text editors out there. Um, you know, basically we just need something to be editing these files with. So I'd probably choose one of these three. Feel free to choose anything you want, though. Uh, I'm gonna open up that directory that we just made, which is in my desktop node. Uh, cool, and here we go. So as this opens up, I've got this, uh, text editor and there's no files or anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create my first file and I'm just going to call it index.js. And all I'm going to do in index.js for now is I'm going to console log uh, it's, it's console log it's working. Cool. So I've just got a console log in here. I'm going to hop back to my terminal here. And if I do an ls for a list, now I can see this index.js file is in there. So now I can just simply run node, which is the same command we used with no arguments to start the REPL, right? Now I'm going to run node against index.js. So now I'm running node on a file. And just like we'd expect at console logs, it's working. So now it's pretty cool. We can kind of start doing anything we want in here. You know, so you can have like function foo, and it takes a name, and then at console logs hello name something like that then we can call food on here with John Cooperman save that go back over here run node again and we get hello John Cooperman so uh, now yeah we're in a pretty good spot where we can start messing around we can do anything you know that JavaScript can do um, and run node against it and it'll go ahead and output whatever it is. Um, so at this point, if you're new to node, you might be kind of thinking it's pretty weak compared to other languages because you know you can make functions and you can console log, but how do you really do anything else? Um, and that's kind of the beauty of Node.js is it gives you a ton of APIs, which we're gonna be checking out throughout the course of this video. Uh, if you go to their website and go to docs, um, and let's go to the long-term support API. We can start seeing some of the really cool stuff it can do. Uh, it can run an HTTP server, so we can make websites with it. Uh, it can contact the operating system, so it can do things like um, create and delete files, stuff like that. Um, it can do all sorts of stuff with the file system, like over here. It can read things in, print things out. Um, so it really has all this really powerful stuff, and we're gonna kind of check through all of these and see how you can build really great stuff with it. Um, so it's not just the JavaScript language, uh, kind of going back into the first video. Um, it is a wrapper around uh, Chrome's V8 engine, but it also has a lot of Node-specific APIs. So like, for example, if I click on File System, um, you can see like all of these things, like let's say, uh, 
find like a read file. So we've got like fs.read file. Like this won't work in regular JavaScript, right? Like if I call, if I inspect element here and I go into my console and I type, you know, fs read file, that's not a thing. fs is not defined. Um, whereas in Node.js it is defined and we can do stuff with it. So these APIs are really where you get into the power of Node if you want to build web apps or cool terminal applications, anything like that. And we are going to get into those. I kind of just wanted to show everybody how to get set up and get to some place that I hope is comfortable, which is being able to write JavaScript just like you normally can and then being able to execute it on your computer. So um, going forward, we're going to check out a bunch of these cool APIs um, and hopefully you're kind of getting your, your comfort zone with writing your own custom JavaScript and running it in Node.